Okay, so last year the GM was here, as you know, he made a lot of promises and he seemed to be pretty popular. Um, do you think he's going to be that popular this afternoon? Well, I'm not too sure about his popularity. I know uh, uh, during the election campaign, he convinced, uh, or his party did convince a lot of our people who normally don't vote in elections, uh, and they did step forward and come to vote with the hope that change will come about. Uh, the change has been very slow in coming, in my view. Number of policies there are still are irritants to my people, you know, uh, especially the land claim policies, which are not in line with the most recent court decision. I think that's really frustrating. And, and also, they're dealing with groups of individuals, like I was just mentioning this morning about the Ontario uh, Algonquins. These people are self declared, they're not even sad Indians. He's dealing with them in the back. That's not acceptable to, to my nation, that's for sure. So if you had to give him, say, a, a grade, uh, would you give him one? Well, you know, at this stage, you know, I don't know if he gets a passing mark, but I, I would say he's still, uh, the commitments, a lot of them are still in the process. So will they come true? It's left to be seen. Uh, one year is not a very much in time. Give him one more year, I guess. But if things don't change, though, most Aboriginal people will, will not support him. In the next election, they'll go somewhere else or just won't vote again. Right. But his party was able to convince saying change can come and we will bring change about. We're still hopeful. I'm doubtful. There we are. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I